Oh, so yeah, my name is Nicholas Yang. Uh, so I grew up in, in Canada and I was born in Hong Kong, so I immigrated when I was very young. And I'm currently studying a PhD in industrial engineering and I did my undergraduate studies also at the University of Toronto in engineering science. So um, technically I didn't get a master's degree, I, I started it and I transferred into a PhD. So it's, uh, it's very natural if you are pursuing graduate studies to get, a, uh, to get a master's first and then get a PhD. But to save on time, I fast tracked over so I save a year and I, I can finish my PhD in four years. So th those are where I get um, my inspirations for my PhD research and also that's why I went to PhD because solving these problems you might not be able to do if you got a career outside of the university. These are problems that you can think about yourself and look into and also, uh, and also just uh, look at what's the best way of solving it. So a TA is, uh, is very natural for me because I enjoy teaching students so it's very it's very easy to just go through your PhD um, just doing research and just taking courses. But being, in a, being a TA, there is a lot of uh, commitment, but you also have a lot of satisfaction from teaching students. I think one of, the best, uh, one of the best things for a TA is when you look at a, when you look at a student that was struggling before, you teach them something, and then in their midterm or in their final exam, you mark them and you see that they actually took what you taught them and applied it to one of the problems. So there's a certain sense of satisfaction in, in, lear in, look in looking at a student that was struggling at first, and you taught them something, and they actually learned it. It's challenging that sometimes you have to manage your time very well to uh, be in a PhD program and to do your TA work, especially this uh, sometimes when you TA more than one course. There's a lot of uh, things you have to mark, there's a lot of tutorials you have to prepare for, but as long as I think if you're interested, if, you have, if you're passionate about your research and you're passionate about your teaching, then it's, it's more about just doing everything quickly and putting your heart and soul into it rather than actually being a big challenge. In terms of dealing with pressure, well, I just do. I just try to uh, balance my life out, so not just focus all on school or all on friends or all on family. Have a balance of all three of them, and just go uh, and stay healthy, be active. I enjoy playing physics because it's a lot of teamwork. Whereas in engineering, um, there's also a lot of teamwork, so it helps me with that. In 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 frisbee, it's all about communication between team members. And in engineering, you can take those skills and communicate with your different uh, members of your team when you're building something, so that you are on the same you're on the same track. For high school students, one of the best tips would be to. Uh, be sure that you're actually interested in engineering. So just because you're good in mathematics and good in sciences doesn't mean you're actually do well in engineering. You have to have a mindset that you want to solve problems or you want to build something to solve problems. So there's number one. And also for engineering, you have to have uh, strong skills and have the dedication to um, do all this work. Engineering has a lot of uh, hours of class, you have a lot of assignments, you have a lot of projects. And you, also have, and you also have to work in teams a lot. So if you, if you don't think you're going to do well in any of these aspects, maybe you should think and reflect or work on those skills before you go into an engineering program. Because for engineering, unlike, unlike some of the other programs, um, you're in a class and you have to basically take all the same courses as everyone else, and you, you, a lot of those courses are uh, very um, involved with each other. So in terms of the uh, conference, uh, I'm also the, uh, I'm one of the leaders and mentorship director of the uh, 2011 UT Excel conference. So there's a lot of uh, different uh, activities that we have, also a lot of different uh, academic workshops and seminars. And ultimately, the goal of the conference is to give the students a feel of what it will be like if they spend their next four years abroad in, in studying, studying abroad. And it's to give them, uh, it's to give them a better uh, understanding of what to expect, an understanding of the environment, and something to, uh, and it's also a way to learn about extra things that they might not get in their normal education in, the, in China. Hi, I'm Nicholas Young. And in the 2011 UTXL conference, I'm going to be one of the uh, seminar leaders teaching ways to apply mathematics to fun examples like games and puzzles. So I hope to see you there.